Hi, I'm Laura. I'm a mom of two and I love to find crafts to do with my kids. I'm gonna show you a couple today. Please welcome my daughter, Annika. For our first craft, we're gonna make puffy paint. And to keep your surface clean, we're gonna lay out some paper. To make our puffy paint, we're gonna need a couple items. We're gonna need some paint, some salt, and some flour. And we like to wrap our bowls with plastic wrap so that we can reuse them. Our first step is to add two spoons of flour, and I'm gonna add two spoons of salt. And now we're gonna add some paint. We're gonna stir it up. Are you ready to start drawing? Yes! I'm gonna start drawing Be Kind on my card because Ellen inspires us to be kind every day. And that's how you make puffy, puffy paint. paint. Our next craft is perfect for parties or when you want cheering up. We're gonna make a watermelon pinata. Our first step is to trace our watermelon shape onto our cardboard. And now we're gonna cut it out. Now that we've cut out our cardboard, we're gonna tape it together to make our pinata. What do you want the pinata to be filled up with? Candy. Candy. Ta -da. Now we're gonna add this one. There we go. Now this is our finished watermelon shape. And make sure that you cut a little tap because you're gonna wanna fill this with candy. Now we're gonna take our crepe paper and we're gonna cut fringe. Here's a little cheat for you guys. If you fold it and fold it, we're gonna cut it in half. Can you cut little slices for me? Okay, ready? Look. Wow! Now that we've got our fringe, we're gonna spray our spray mount and then we're gonna attach our fringe to it and you just layer, layer, layer. Our final step is to take some construction paper and cut out seeds for our watermelon. And that's how you make a watermelon pinata. Our final craft is inspired by Ellen's love for gorillas. We're gonna make gorilla bookmarks. Our first step is to fold the paper. We're gonna do corner to corner, just like that. And then we're gonna do these corners and then we're gonna fold this in, fold this one in. That's gonna give us a really nice bookmark, right? Right. We cut some gorilla faces out and we're just going to attach them to our gorilla bookmarks. Okay, can you push on your gorilla? <laughs> then we cut out blue circles and we're gonna write be kind. This is such a great reminder, right? Now I'm gonna draw a face onto the gorilla. It's almost like a little upside down heart and a big smiley face. And now we're gonna attach our googly eyes. And that's how you make a Gorilla Bookmark. We hope you've learned some kid-friendly crafts. Bye! Bye.